Costa Rica is one of the five countries in the world that has a very efficient medical social system. This is one of the clinics in downtown San Jose. And the country invests too much money <clears throat> maintaining the whole network. You may notice in Chile, for instance, in uh, many comments say that Chile is a very advanced country, but in, in ways it's not. They don't have a social medical system like that of Costa Rica. Uh, during the pandemics, the hard work done by the doctors and nurses all over the country in the small clinics was even noticed by the New York Times that made uh, an editorial concerning the country and the organization that took place, making Costa Rica one of the fifth best medical systems in the world. We're talking that the other ones might be Germany, Scandinavia, and Holland, and perhaps Switzerland. What has made the country so successful in this matter? Uh, of course, uh, many people from other countries, as you have mentioned, uh, in Latin America, are just behind Costa Rica. Even Colombia, just 25% of the population is just covered by Social Security and 40% of the people are into uh, non-formality jobs. But Costa Rica seems to be picking up. <clears throat> the people uh, demand these services. And uh, ma many people from uh, countries like the States or Europe or Japan can't make their mind that a Latin American country can be successful in many areas and can compare and match those figures and services of those supposedly more advanced countries. Uh, in Europe, in the Scandinavia, in Holland, and in part in Germany, uh, medicine is social. Something that doesn't happen in the US. In Canada, it's social too. And even in Great Britain, the system is not really working for the aging people in the Midlands. I've seen some videos, but it does down here. Now, Costa Rica is surrounded by, by many Latin American countries who are, by all standards, poor. And you have a lot of employment and delinquency going on. Colombia, the bad figures, 40% of the population is poor, have no social um, security uh, or insurance and um, Mexico even, uh, Guatemala and Bolivia and Peru uh, are very, very inefficient countries. I dare, I dare say even Brazil, because Costa Rica is a small. Now, why do people, why is there not much work for in Costa Rica? Most of the people are very satisfied with their, in, with their well-being and don't make protests like they did in Chile. In Chile now they are trying to make up a new constitution so that they might have opportunities like Costa Rica does have, even open university education like other countries in Argentina, for instance, in Costa Rica. We must say, yeah, the expenses are run high. I know the expenses are run high. Even for Germany and Holland, the system can at times be unbearable. But the point is, the countries are still uh, very um, uh, inviting for investment. The people are on very healthy grounds. They have education. And so investment keeps coming. So there are not so many terrorist acts. Of course, there are some delinquency, and we'll face that later on. But the country really promises. And uh, this is the point. Now, there are clinics everywhere in the country, 
and the country invests a lot of money on making the people be healthy. I might mention that in the beginning of Costa Rica, most of the population was white. So uh, this is a white mentality from Spaniards times that has made the country a really advanced one in many fields, such as Argentina, Uruguay, with lots of uh, uh, European uh, migration has updated the country and made them more uh, advanced in many ways in southern Brazil, for instance. Let's check in the end how this clinic looks like. And as mentioned before, <clears throat> the word Costa Rica during the pandemic was even noticed by the New York Times. They said an editorial concerning this one person work of the country, which now uh, the social uh, security in Costa Rica or of the country is one of the fifth best in the world. People can access specialists. Sometimes I know the list is a long one, but uh, medicine does really work in the country, preventive and education as well. As mentioned before, Costa Rica is one of the five countries in the world that spends 8% of national gross product on education. All right. You take care and remember, Costa Ricans realize they're one of the happiest countries in the world. People are very satisfied with the, how the system works, the opportunities they get. And even to in English, they're just behind the rest. If you just take some basics in elementary school and high school levels, but it's, it's okay in a way. You have a good day.